Escape 32 is an open source 32-bit ESC firmware that aims for simplicity. It is designed to deliver smooth and efficient motor drive, fast transitions from a complete stop to full throttle, robust direction reversals, and maximum hardware support. Other ESC firmware do a lot of things in software, while Escape 32 uses hardware whenever possible for maximum efficiency. Using BL32, have you ever tried spinning your motors in beta flight by using the arrow keys on the sliders? It ain't pretty. Now for Escape 32. If you have an AM32 ESC, it is easy to flash Escape 32. First, download the files you need. Head over to the Escape 32 GitHub and click on the link for the wiki. At the top, click the link for installation. Now click here to reach the tips and tricks page. From here, we can read more about how to migrate from AM32 to Escape 32. First, Click the Targets link to see which firmware and bootloader you will need. From the previous page, you can download the bootloader installer to migrate from AM32 to Escape32. Choose the appropriate bootloader installer that matches your target. Note the prefix, Install, at the front. This special firmware installs the Escape32 bootloader via AM32 firmware update. This is only used to migrate from AM32 to Escape32. It is different from the regular Escape32 bootloader. Also from this page, you can click the link here to navigate to the latest release and download the appropriate firmware. Returning to the previous page again, we can scroll down to find a link to download the Escape32 update utility. Now create a folder on your desktop and name it Escape32. Move both the bootloader and firmware into this folder. Next, extract the Escape32 update utility into this folder. Next, flash the Escape32 bootloader using the AM32 offline tool. Important, take note of the COM port number for later use. You won't hear any beeps or tones after the flash is complete. This is normal. After flashing all four ESC with Escape 32 bootloader installer, we will begin the process of flashing Escape 32. But first, we must do some preparations. Connect the quad to beta flight. Go to CLI and type resource, then type timer. We need to find a resource that has a timer, which we can free and assign as ESC serial. In this example, we are reassigning camera control to ESC serial. Head to the Motors tab. Set Motor Protocol to Disabled. Save and Reboot. Now, open CLI again and type the following command, ESC Prog KI0, and press Enter. It should report, using output 0. If you see this error, then the timer was not set up correctly in the previous step. Now, close beta flight completely. Disconnecting is not enough. It is important to close beta flight. Next, we will use the escape utility tool to flash the firmware to the ESC. Open Windows command prompt. Change directory to the folder containing the escape utility tool. Prepare the drone with a battery, but wait to plug in. In the terminal, type the following. Replace firmware.beam with the name of your firmware. Replace DTYS8 with the corresponding COM port noted earlier using AM32 offline ESC tool. The number after S will be one less than the COM port we noted earlier. After pressing Enter, quickly plug in a battery while the utility is probing the bootloader. You should hear small beeps if the flash was successful. Then, unplug the battery and USB cable. Reconnect the quad to beta flight and repeat until all the ESC are flashed. Finally, we need to configure ESC settings, such as motor direction, motor timing, 
PWM and more. See the configuration page in the wiki for a full list of commands. Open beta flight. Re-enable D-Shot 600. Go to CLI and plug in a battery. The first digit after D-Shot prog represents which motor, zero is motor one and so on. For example, we will reverse motors two and three. To do this, enter D-Shot prog one, eight, then press enter. This has reversed the direction on motor 2. Now enter D-Shot Prog 2, 8, and press Enter. This has reversed the direction on motor 3. To save settings on all ESCs, type D-Shot Prog 2, 5, 5, space, 12, then press Enter. In order to change any command from 40 and above, we need to enter that value six times in a row. For example, to change motor timing, Type D shot prog 2, 5, 5, and then 6, 40. After pressing enter, you will hear some tones. These tones are used to indicate what value the setting has been changed to. When you reach the end, they roll over to the beginning. If you are confused where you are, just keep going until you get back to one beep, and then you can proceed counting up with the tones and referencing the list. If you wanted to set a PWM of 3672, then you would enter D shot prog 2, 5, 5, followed by 6, 40 once. Repeat this command until you hear four beeps. Remember to always save the settings when you are finished by using the 12 command. For multi-rotors, it is recommended to set the duty rate to 100 by entering D shot prog 2, 5, 5, followed by 6, 43s until you reach the value 100. It will sound like this. At the moment, this command does not roll over, so just keep going until the end. Also, you should set duty ramp to at least 50 by entering D shot prog 2, 5, 5, followed by 6, 42s until you hear five beeps. Congratulations if you made it this far, but remember, start slowly while testing your new ESC configuration. It's probably not a good idea to do something like this on the first flight. Try increasing PWM and motor timing if you have issues. Join the Discord for more assistance. Have a great day. Oh, my God.